What's up, folks? <laughs> <laughs> And we're back <laughs> for another exciting, maybe not exciting, for another fun, entertaining, informative episode of the Marketing for Coaches show. Um, it's me, Kevin. It's him, Michael. And we're here, as you might have noticed from the title, we're not really mincing words about this one. <laughs> this one's pretty near and dear to our hearts, pretty near and dear to our passions. Um, talking about your brand, people, when they think about their brand, <sighs> You either get really weirdly specific answers, like really tangibly specific answers, like it's your logo, it's your typeface, it's your color scheme. You can probably tell from my voice getting a little bit nasally that I'm sort of mocking that a little bit. And obviously we have a logo, we have fonts, we have a color scheme, you know, it's, it's all stuff that you end up having. So either when you're talking about your brand, you're either talking real specific stuff, like real tangible stuff, or you get these like sort of ephemeral, almost hippy dippy where it's like, man, it's just kind of the way you put yourself out there. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm, I'm being wildly extreme, but you, you tend to get like one version on either of those extremes of, you know, the answer to the question, what is your brand? And in our experience and our expertise, um, in pretty much everything that we have encountered, everything that we say, we do, we've heard, we've read, to make it real simple, you are your brand. You are your brand. As a, especially as a coach, a consultant, just a leader in business, I know it might feel a little bit, I don't know. I don't actually, I don't know how you feel about it. I might feel a little strange to consider yourself as a brand, but you are, you are. It's your personality. It's the way that you move through the world. It's the things that you say, the things that you show, what you put out there, where you put it out there, when you put it out there, how you put it out there, to whom you put it out there for. All of this goes into and is a part of your brand, which is you. And I like to, I could talk about this for hours or I could stop right there because I feel like there's just so much to explore about this, but I'll let you have the floor for a few minutes. Talk about, just talk about branding as it pertains to, you know, people like the people that we serve, the coaches and the leaders of the world. I mean, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to beat a dead horse. You kind of said it. it. It's just, yeah, branding is not the logo. It's not, <laughs> uh, it's not, it's not any of the assets. Um, branding is, is, your the brand for your company brand a brand is a personality right yeah. um i'm gonna beat a dead horse and use apple as the example because it's just Do so it. easy <laughs> the apple has a certain personality um you know when you when you think about apple you think about certain traits that apple as a company has um, you know, hip, trendy, maybe more so in the Steve Job days. I'm not sure Tim Cook's really keeping up. Um, these oh, days, with Tim, with Tim Cook era, Apple might, you know, maybe their their brand is shifting more towards the uh, privacy and and personal, uh, personal privacy. Right? They're doing a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. I know on the iPhone um, that is pissing off Facebook, for example. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and if you're not familiar with that, essentially I'm talking about to, uh, digital advertising and uh, the iPhone has, you know, basically certain ways in which it protects your privacy. Um, and that makes Zuck very unhappy because then Zuck can't track as much as he can otherwise. Long story short, too late. Um, mm -hmm. as, a, as a coach, as a consultant, as a thought leader, you are your brand, the way that you present yourself the way that you interact with the world you know it's not it's not any one thing it's this it's a kind of a constellation effect maybe you might you might yeah. say that yeah. um and uh and and it's just it's the way that people perceive you through the culmination of every interaction whether that's from an email newsletter whether that's on your linkedin feed whether mm -hmm. that's book that you wrote, um, whether that your YouTube channel, your YouTube channel, <laughs> whether that's one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether that's in group coaching, right? All of this mm -hmm. stuff, these are all any, any kind of touch points. It's all like I said, it's like I said, it's like a constellation effect and all of these things add up to what is, what then becomes a brand. I like that analogy of a constellation because it, it really, it, ev it evokes the right feeling for me. It's, it's points of light organized, and that's with the trick. line drawn around them in order to present a shape, a shape that's, that's, that's recognizable. That's that's the main thing too. Is to it, it can't just be stars in the sky, 
thrown up there randomly like a Pollock, like an Alexander Pollock painting, right? Yeah. There's 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 organization to it. You've you've connected the dots, and you've you've strategically strate- you've strategically connected the dots in mm-hmm. such a way that uh, ideally you've strategically done it. Maybe you did it by accident, and it worked really well. Um, yeah. We'll get to that. In you, a <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the, the, the and that's the point of the constellation is it's not just points of light in the sky it's points of light in the sky that are connected in specific ways that then create something bigger than the points of light themselves a synergy if you will oh i will you know i will i always will when it comes to a synergy and this is, this is kind of why i started out but like why i titled this video what i titled it is that it's really, and maybe I'm just speaking for myself, but I should, I'll start by speaking for myself. But I feel like this has been the experience of a lot of a lot of business owners and leaders I've spoken to. It is tempting to spend a lot of time tweaking and toying with and trying out logo designs, iterating mm-hmm. on iterating on iterating, waiting for that thing that sparks mm-hmm. the joy you're looking to spark with your logo. Mm-hmm. And while that can be a fun for some way to spend your time and you might get an excellent logo out of it. That is not the right way to spend your time. I I want to, I want to make sure I say that in no uncertain terms, your time is better spent in different ways when it comes to your brand. You have something to say about about that? Don't, don't confuse activity with, with accomplishment. There you go. And aim for like actually put your time and energy where it's going to matter the most. I, I, and again, like I said, I, you could, you could, you could find the perfect font. The perfect font. If you've seen American Psycho, you understand that the perfect business card does exist. <laughs> Bone white. But if you ever did see that movie or read that book, you understand, you understand, well, maybe you understand more than what we're the scope of what we're talking about here right now. But you understand how there is there is a an inappropriate expenditure of time, energy, and resources on something that ultimately is going to kind of take care of itself. Mm-hmm. It really is. It really, really, really is. You dig into your brand, you dig into your personality. And that's something, that's one of the things that we do at Boxer. And as a coach, you'll recognize that it's very much like a group mastermind, um, except we're the group and you're the mastermind. <laughs> but it's, it's, one, it's one of our, dare I say, favorite services that we offer. It's, I think it's my personal favorite because right, the experience is, oh, is uh, time consuming, but in a way that's just like, it feels good. It feels yeah. really good. And you come out of it with like some real actionable insights which i know is sort of like a silly like vacuous marketing term but you really do you come out you come out of it with a real idea of not just like who you are but who you are as a brand who you are as a business how you express yourself how the ways in which you appear as a business in the eyes of your mm-hmm. ideal clients mm-hmm. which is easy to say the work though remains the work to to spend the time thinking about it talking about it running through exercises unearthing different aspects of your brand slash personality of yourself that again maybe you didn't quite see or didn't quite understand or are having trouble seeing it from the perspective of your mm-hmm. ideal client there's so much that goes into it once again like i said you can talk about it for 30 seconds or 30 hours because it's just it's such and we actually, we'll spend that much time in some of our some of our deep branding masterminds, just really going all the way down with people, and it gets a little comfortably uncomfortable because <laughs> you know we're talking about who you are, and we're talking about the things that move you that you're most passionate about, and we just also just so happen to be very passionate about it ourselves. So it's I don't know, it's I like I I love talking about it because I like at every opportunity we get to do a deep branding mastermind. I get kind of excited about it. <laughs> so anyway, I not to once again toot our own horn, but I'm going to toot it. I'm going to go ahead and put the pump, the fist pump up there. Um, <laughs> if you are interested, if you are intrigued by anything like this, maybe you've gone through something like this before. Obviously, as a coach, you've been coached almost almost certainly. Um, you've probably been a part of masterminds or some sort of group coaching. You've probably taken classes or watched videos or read books about branding and who you are and how all the stuff that we've been talking about, I got to tell you, our our little our little process, our little system, our little system. Talking about it like it's a favorite cousin of mine. It's like oh, look at little Jimmy, he's so great. Jesus. It really it really oh, is God. something else. It really is something else. And if even if you just want to like talk a little bit about it, and that might shake some stuff loose for you, just reach out to mm-hmm. us. Drop drop it in the comments. Send us an email. You know where we're at. Kevin at Michael at Boxer Agency. Real easy to find. 
almost frightfully available to talk about this kind of stuff. Like, honestly, we, we roll out of bed at like 2.30 in the morning and just like get a snack. And if we see a message from you, it's like, tell me more about this whole like, you know, deep branding thing you were talking about. You might get a five paragraph mm-hmm. response. <laughs> it just, it excites us. And we think it ought to excite you too, because it's really where the good work, the good time, the good energy, the good effort pays off with the biggest impact and mm-hmm. the greatest growth in your authority and the greatest reach and the greatest growth in your business. So I want to throw real quick before we wrap this up. Um, yeah. We do have we do have a, a case study on that where one of our clients who we actually have an NDA with, so I can't mention names, but um, he, they this client was doing a quarter million dollars annual revenue when we started working with him. Okay, just this one client. I don't think he had he didn't have a team at all, um, yeah. and. Uh, hired us for for deep branding work. We worked with him for twelve weeks. Yeah, I it think was like it was 10, about ten to twelve weeks. We spread. We ended up having to do some because we're very flexible. Oh, we rescheduled some meetings to better accommodate yeah. his his client schedule, which we always put first, no matter what. But yeah, it was it ended up being like ten or twelve weeks. About 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 three months. Um, and uh, three months after we were done working together so six months after we initially engaged he doubled his revenue and was doing half a million dollars a year now correlation is not causation but we wouldn't do what we do if we didn't believe that it had that kind of effect <laughs> no it's it's causation i i mean i agree with you but i'm just you know i'm making sure to in- introduce a little uncertainty strong strong opinions loosely held However, the saying goes, you know, okay, I, yeah, I believe right. very strongly that, yeah, that was a direct cause of our work together. And as I, as I recall, he more or less believes the same and has, you know, has, has told us so. So it's just, it's, it's just, it's again, it's why I love it so much is you get, yeah. you put in the time and the energy and the effort and you, you learn so much about yourself and about not just the business, but your business mm-hmm. and you get the results. You start to see they start showing up in not just your follower count in your client roster. That's where it starts to show up. And that's that's where it, that's where it gets really exciting for me anyway. <laughs> Dig it. All right. I should get us out of here. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching by watching these two guys. I hope I hope we didn't offend you with our faces too badly. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> gonna make the gonna make the cross like share subscribe comment do all the things um we're pumping new content into this channel all the time um we've got an email newsletter if you want to subscribe to that i pontificate about this same kind of stuff but a little a little, with a little more brevity actually i don't know about the same amount of brevity um and as does michael uh just if you have any questions anything for us at all as you can tell we love 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 to chat about this um, yep. And if you want to chat with a little bit more intention, we would love to chat about how we might be able to serve you. So anyway, reach out. We will talk to you again here very soon.